Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna do a quick little rant. Sitting in the living room, looking out the big Spanish window at all the rain that we're getting and feeling extremely happy because I live in the desert and we desperately need rain. Ew, that tastes very lemony. Anyway, it's kind of cold outside. Well, kinda it is. And since it's wet, it's it's a lot worse. I got a little bit of a runny nose. But, oh, oh, where do I start? Okay. 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 All right. So, I'm not really big into, I'm a black person and I'm gonna be very honest. Like I'm not really big into black culture. And I think my biggest pet peeve with black culture is the victim mentality that seems to have, it just seems to permeate everybody that I meet. For example, I'm sure anyone who is a, has a pulse is familiar with all this legal stuff that Bill Cosby is going through because of the fact that he was drugging women and having sex with them while they were unconscious. Well, there's always going to be some folks who defend him. In my opinion, there's nothing to defend. He shouldn't have been doing that. He is a married man with children. He should have been home with his wife and children and he wouldn't be in this issue. He wouldn't be in this mess today. But you have the people who, his defenders, who will blame the fact that he's going through all these legal issues on everyone except for Bill Cosby. For example, a YouTuber who I love watching his channel, he is actually one of the, he, no, I'm not gonna say he isn't one. He is the only black male vlogger that I totally can see eye to eye with. Like he is actually a logical thinking man. But he's done two videos on Bill Cosby and this whole, on these rape allegations. And on his latest video, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box, um, one of the commenters, um, for some odd reason, it came to be an issue that Donald Trump is the reason why Bill Cosby is going through the things that he's going through. Like for whoever, whatever it, whatever it is, Bill Cosby pissed somebody off. And it has, in, in their head, it has nothing to do with the fact that Bill Cosby was doing all these things that he shouldn't have been doing. But, you know, I'm, oh, I just, I can't, I just don't understand. But I've had this same conversation and it's always with a black person over the fact that Bill Cosby is to blame for the issues that he is having, for the problems he's going through. There's no one else to blame for that. He is the only one. And getting black folks to see how they're always, they're trying to make Bill Cosby look like a victim. And like I said, if he had been at home with his wife, he had been at home being a faithful, loving husband and a good role model for his son and five kids, he wouldn't have these issues today. Like, do I have to repeat that one more time? If Bill Cosby had taken his ass home and spent it with his wife and his children instead of with whatever, trying, of whatever Hollywood starlet was trying to become famous, and was willing to spend time alone with a married man, he wouldn't have these issues. <laughs> I don't know if I need to repeat that again. <laughs> but the, there's no victim. The only victims are, well, I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't think the women are even victims. I mean, I am a single woman. I do not spend time with married men unless his wife is sitting with us. The only time you'll see me with a married man. I, I just, I don't know what the world is coming to, but because they're unconscious and if they were happening in California, it's, it's illegal to have sex with someone who is unconscious. It, it, is, it is illegal in the state of California. If they're intoxicated, 
and you have sex with them and they wake up sober and they decide that you rape them, that it is rape. That's the law in California. Just so anyone knows that. I don't know about the other 49 states and I have no idea what it's like in other countries, but that's how it is in California. I'm done with that topic. What else? Hmm. There was something else that got brought up as well. Oh, Black Patriarch. I just discovered his channel. I don't, yeah, his channel. And he had one video on brain drain and something else. I can't remember what it's called, but it was a really good video. And it actually brought up some of the things with immigration. Like I don't have a problem with immigrants, because I understand that immigrants are the people who actually start the businesses that create the jobs. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem is, is giving amnesty to the immigrants that aren't doing these things. Like, I, I don't favor giving amnesty to immigrants. We make it, it makes it harder for the ones who want to come here, like the highly intelligent, highly educated, highly skilled, people who want to get to the United States, it just makes it harder for them to get here. And that is what irritates me. Because in his video, he talked about how we're having a lot of, there are a lot of the foreigners are sending their children to American universities to get their educations. And then these young people, instead of staying here in the United States, a lot of them are going back to the countries they came from. Even the ones who became naturalized American citizens are going back to their former countries and, and going back there and putting their skill sets and their intelligence to use, which creates competition for America, which I'm not against immigration. I'm just, I'm all about smart immigration and it doesn't do any country to, any justice to bring in the poorest and the most uneducated of someone else's country. That is not what good immigration policies do. And Amer it seems like America is the only country in the world that's supposed to take in the ones that nobody wants. But that's another story. I wonder how long it'll be before someone calls me a racist. Speaking of which, um, on an, in another Black Patriarch video, and I don't really remember, maybe it wasn't even his video, but I left a comment that it might have been the same one on brain, brain Drain, but I left a, also left a comment saying that I have a tendency to avoid Black folks in general because I find them so... I find a lot of them incapable of having adult conversation. Like you can't have a disagreement with someone without them calling you a bitch or a hoe or a bed wench or any type of derogatory name. And usually the ones that do the most derogatory name calling are the men. And, and it's like, well, I'm not coming here to be abused by anybody. I don't know why he's calling me out of my name when I didn't call him out of his. I just, I don't understand that. But it just comes it comes out, even when you're talking to them in person, it comes out so easily. And I, I don't even understand it. Oh, that's who it is. Rashida, Rashida something. And it was on her video on why she is dark skinned and she's glad she went to a white university. And I'll tell you, her reasons for going to a white university was one of the reasons why I chose not to go to a historically black college like a lot of my cousins did. Because I have three cousins that graduated from Hampton University and one cousin who graduated from Tuskegee. And I was not even looking at black colleges when it came time for me to go to school because I didn't want to. I know I was gonna experience more hate on a black college from other black students than I ever would from the white or Asian or Latino or insert whatever race or ethnicity I had to deal with at a white university. And that is true. I mean, collectively, I can honestly say I had incidences with maybe three Asians, which is really, really weird. 
Um, one girl lived on my hall, and that was that was a weird year for me because I had a, a Filipino roommate, and she was a sweetheart, and we got along really well, and I got along with her friends, but there was someone else on the hall, and I have no idea why, but that girl swerving down, I stole her shampoo, and <laughs> I just, and I'm like, could you please accuse me of stealing something that I would actually want to steal? Like your food or something? I I don't know how many times I've said on my own channel how much I hate washing my hair. But I wasn't real, I walked twice a month back then in college. That's how much often I washed my hair back then. And I still pretty much am a twice a month. So a bottle of shampoo will last me a year. Get the economy size and it'll last me too. So stealing shampoo is not my MO, my MI, I don't know, it wasn't. But that is all I have to say. Um, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a link to those blogs that I was talking about in the description box. Block. I can't even talk, I need to go to sleep. I'll leave a link in the description box if you wanna go check out those videos. They're really good videos. Lennon Honor is one of my favorite video bloggers, or vloggers, or YouTubers, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just came across Rashida. I don't know where her last name is. I can't remember it, but. And then Black Patriarch. So go check those um, YouTubers out. You probably are already familiar with them, but. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for my eating show on Friday, I'll be doing another one this Friday. Please do not suggest Mexican or Italian or Thai. My least favorite cuisines. I know I love burritos, but that's pretty much the only thing I eat in the Mexican food cuisine world are burritos and tacos and enchiladas. Everything else I stay away from. And then I don't like pasta. So don't suggest Italian. And I hate Thai food. So, but I'm open for anything. Hey, gizzards. I would love to eat some gizzards. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll fry up some gizzards and munch on some gizzards in my next eating show because I haven't had that in a while. But that's all I have for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.